Au revoir. The purpose of this lesson today is to look at people who've been, well not to look at people, but to help people, that's, uh, that's more like it, um, to help people who are just getting into sweet picking and wonder why it sounds like shit. Uh, it sounds messy, noisy and all the rest of it. This is the arpeggio with the technique that I use. I'll slide that down. You notice how it's all clean, you only hear one note at a time, there's no open strings. This is the arpeggio without the technique that I use. So you can hear all those open strings going off. So what it is, it's not palm, that doesn't really help. What I'm using is uh, this part of my thumb, lying it flat on the strings, but the key is to make sure that your thumb is pointing up just a little bit so that it allows the note that you want to play to ring out because if you have your thumb totally flat on the strings it sounds like this not pleasant not very musical so thumb on the strings and the end of your thumb up a little bit to let that string out so you get this So what happens is, when you leave a string and go to the next one, the thumb mutes the previous string as you hit the new one. You don't want it stopping before or after. You don't want the notes overlapping, but you don't want little gaps either. So you don't want your sweeps to sound like this. And you don't want them to overlap either. So this is it slowly. You leave one string, get to the next, and then the the initial string stops ringing out. See how it's gone? So my thumb now is touching the D as I'm getting to the G. Then I can play the G. And as I move towards the B, thumb mutes the G. Play the E. Move, sorry, play the B, move to the E. Mutes the B as I hit the E. Without it. I'm not very good at sweet picking. Um, it's a thing that you can get very rusty at very quickly. I don't practice it very much, but I thought I'd just try this out anyway. At least I know how to clean them up. Um, so that's that for today. If you like what I do, subscribe down below, leave a like, and I'll see you on the next one. Bonjour for now.